Hey guys and welcome back. My name is D Free and today we're talking about building Sung Janu in Solo Leveling Rise. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. And I want to know from everybody watching, what sets are you personally using on Sung Janu? I'm going to show you a lot of different things, but it's mainly going to pertain to sets. And the reason I put that out is because you have the liberty to change your set as often as you need to, obviously. If you want him to be more of a utility character, you can change his set around to give him something like solid analysis or even destroyer if you're feeling spicy. Whatever you're trying to do, you can do that. You can change his skills and weapons as well to match. Sung Jinu is the most versatile character in the game by far, and it's not close due to all the customization that he has, allowing for him to be used a lot of different ways. So we have uh, a lot of different options here. Bear in mind, I don't have the best artifacts because <laughs> I suck at these things. I have terrible luck. I okay. I guess I'll start with it because we had it up earlier. So regardless of what artifacts you get for him, you're mainly going to be looking for attack and the critical hits. Those are the two things that you want for Sung Jinu, just in general, in terms of stats that you get. You want attack, critical hit rate, critical hit damage. That's pretty much it. So, like, for example, this one's, like, not great. This is all, this is a tank one here. Defense, HP, damage reduction, defense. It's, it's all defense stuff. So there should be a mechanic. I think there was a data mine or something or an announcement or something for a mechanic to re-roll these because this is a prime example. We need these. They just, it, I can't use this piece on pretty much anybody I would want to. Now, that being said, it's not like it's bad to have more tanking, right? It's just, this is a game based on DPS, so I don't want that. Defense penetration is solid as well. And then, by the way, I talk about attack, critical hit rate. You also want to get uh, the percentage-based bonuses. You don't want to get, you know, additional attack. You want to get attack percentage first. This is the other one's secondary. Anyway, so moving on. One hit kill is one that you can put on basically any character <laughs> now one hit kill is extremely strong on some of those characters when they get like their fourth or fifth advancement most of the time it's the fifth one because they love making you push that far and they can spam their ultimate more effectively or whatever it is you know you put that on them and they just absolutely shred on sung Janu, it's okay um i it's not my favorite by any means i've used it a good bit it's not my favorite but if you like it go for it it's it's a good set regardless it's just one of those things that kind of comes down to now Another thing you can do with this is you can make it a two set. I am not really a big fan of two sets because I don't like missing out on the benefit of the fourth set. Which, by the way, quick spoiler, there may or may not, I don't know if this is announced information or if it's data mine, but there are, there may or may not be sets that go beyond two, four, six. Or two, four. There's going to be six and eight, potentially. Just want to let you know that. Uh, in terms of like one set for both sides. All right. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of missing out on the set effects personally, but you can make you can make two of these and combo it with something else, like Armed, for example. I think Armed is a good sub-in with the attack increase here that you would get from the two set if you wanted to do that. With Armed, I really, really like getting that four set uh, so you hit through the defense that they're missing. But that being said, I mean, just flat out getting attack and the combination of the ultimate is a good combination because you will, in that position, be able to do more damage because all of his stuff just scales off the attack stat. So you can do something like that. But I would just, you know, personally prefer to get that decrease myself. So that's one thing you can do. Now, in terms of the right side, the right side for Sung Jinu is extremely simple. There, I mean, like, just like I said, he can play however you want him to play. But there is, like, in my opinion, th three really good choices. And that starts with Expert. Now, I am not really going to be shifting any of the right side pieces to, to twos of. I just think you need fours of for most of these. Um, same deal. You want the right attacks and crits and all that stuff, right? But with this one, when landing a critical hit, the user has a 25% chance to increase attack by 0.8%, stacking up to 100 times, which changes with the four set. You really want the four set of this. Uh, changes to 50% chance to increase attack by 1.6. So this set is really good on Sung Janu. It's good on other hunters like Cha Hin or whatever, but, you know, it's, it's best on Janu because he never leaves the battlefield. Right? He's always out there. He's not switching out. So you would want to put this on him in most cases. Now, here's the deal with this. This will excel more often than not if you've got a critical-based build. Because what will happen is with a critical-based build, obviously, you will be able to do more critical hits. Right? So if you're landing more critical hits, you're going to be able to do this more often. And the cooldown is only one second, so it doesn't take very long. Right? But regardless, I... and. With critical base builds, whether that's toughness or not, a lot of that comes down to your weapon choice, too. Do you have uh, weapons that hit a lot of times or hit quickly? Do you have weapons that it literally increase your critical, like Plum Sword or Scythe or whatever, right? Like that. 
that matters a lot too. But regardless, I think expert is the de facto best choice for the right side. If you feel otherwise, obviously let me know. I also really like champion of field because it functions kind of similarly, but it's not, it doesn't have the high end potential, but it's more yield up front, right? So increases the attack by 5% for four seconds when landing a critical. And when you have four of them, you can now stack that four times. So if you got a heavy crit base set, you got good critical bonuses, you know, crit weapons, all the stuff I just kind of explained, you could very easily get flat 20% increases, you know, just just very quickly. Now, more often than not, you probably will exist in that 10% range because they're going to start falling off and restacking. Sometimes you'll miss critical hits. You know, you know what I'm saying? So most of the time, You'll probably be at 10 to 15%. You probably won't be at 20 all too often. But regardless, though, the attack increase up front is really nice as opposed to having to build it up with Expert. But the thing about Expert is that most of the time you're taking on, you know, pretty much every time. In fact, I don't think there's any other. Only time you're not is in like a dungeon, I guess. But anytime you're going to any sort of gate or anything like that, you're going to be taking on a few hordes before you get to the actual final boss. So by then... I'd imagine that you've built the expert bonus up. So regardless, champion of field is more of like an alternative option for more people. Other than that, uh, executioner is the one that comes to mind. Um, executioner increases your attack when the opponent is lower. Um, so this one is another one where, or increases your damage. That that is that is different. The damage verbiage matters more on other characters not named Sung Jinu because for whatever reason this game is designed in a way where hunters don't use their attack stat like Seo or Su excuse me doesn't use her attack stat at all because she scales off defense I wonder if there's some sort of like higher level level calculation that does take it into a, into consideration because I just don't know why it's printed on hunters that don't use it uh aside from just to keep the game uniform right Anyway, this is a good set regardless, though. Uh, it's one of the de facto ones that most hunters are going to use, though, because, like I said, it can be on anybody, unlike the other ones that are increasing attack. I think I think even, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Expert is increasing attack, right? Yeah, so, like, these, these ones aren't going to work good on characters that don't have an attack need, right? So that one is one of the de facto ones. But I wanted to kind of explain that stuff because those are options. In my opinion, those are the three best options. But I think with Sung Jinu, you pretty much just leave Expert on indefinitely i don't i don't really see much reason to too much ever take it off personally so i wanted to kind of explain that anyway moving on from here uh let's actually talk about his best set because i have made it like five minutes into the video or whatever and not talked about it with all the things i talked about and the critical focus and all that stuff his best set winds up being this four copies of toughness four copies of execute or expert excuse me on the right side you want the critical bonuses from this. Obviously, the critical hit damage would be really, really nice. So it's like it's like it's, it's like its best set, but it's also like the cookie cutter standard set because this is what most people are going to wind up running, um, and they're going to run it with the full, like I said, full four. And I don't really have too much explaining to do with this. This one's extremely obvious, very straightforward. Again, critical weapons, critical artifacts, stat bonuses. Like I have a critical hit rate bonus here. That's perfect. You're just going to do more criticals, which leads to more damage, especially with this uh, right side piece on. So that's more or less how Song Jinu is built with that. <clears throat> now, moving on from here, another alternative is uh, just like any other DPS character, armed. I, I might have mentioned armed earlier, I think. Yeah, I did. As a two-parter, right? But as a four-parter, a four-set piece, I think armed is also extremely strong because it allows for you to get that extra damage in while ignoring the defense. Very self-explanatory with that. Now, if you're going to run armed, like I said, I think you need expert on most of the time, but I wouldn't blame you if you decided to switch it out for one of the other options, like I said. I think I think maybe you can yield. You know what? Let's, let me actually see something here. Let me see executioners too. Ah, the bonus is too low. 40? So 40 is like, 40 is like they're about to die and you just kill them, right? <laughs> like it's it's too low. And then this one is just, it doesn't get those extra three stacks. So it's just 5%. So yeah, I would still just run for it, like I said. Unless you're taking on a shorter piece of content. Now, a cool thing about Sung Jinu, like I said, is that he's very versatile. He can run whatever set you want him to run. Um, so this one here, Destroyer, I think is kind of cool. You could maybe run a two set of Destroyer and one hit on him if you wanted to do that. I, it's just kind of weird because these both want to have their fours, right? So that's kind of something that happens too. Also, if you're versus a boss, like you happen to be struggling with a boss like Egris or something. Because, you know, Egris is funny in the story because he is like a big roadblock for a lot of people. And then there are people that are like, I one hit him, blah, blah, blah. 
<laughs> I'm free to play and I want to hit him, right? And I think some of that comes down to like how good are you physically, right? But also how well equipped are you? Do you have the right artifacts? Do you have the my, the right weapon? Because Huntsman just decimates that story chapter. So there's that. But if you're versus him or any other boss that you just want to break more effectively, Solid Analysis is a good set for him if that is the case. But after the toughness set, arm set, and potentially one-hit kill set, everything else on here is pretty much just optionality. I wouldn't use the Noble Sacrifice one because that takes his attack off. You could maybe use Noble Sacrifice as a two set if you absolutely had to. I wouldn't do it. Solid Foundation, eh, right? It's like, eh. <laughs> I, I personally wouldn't really do it. If you have to do it, I wouldn't blame you. But we always circle back to either Armed or to Toughness for Song Janu. 